Hey you, do you know who is the Indian's king? Arvind or Arjun? Chennai Grand Masters 2024. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg and this is my YouTube channel. And you know, today we are diving into an incredible game from the Chennai Grandmasters 2024. On the board we have Aravind Chitambaram playing white against the legend Grandmaster Arjun Arigaisi with the black pieces. Of course, also Chitambaram is also Grandmaster. Arjun has been on fire in this tournament, leading with 4 out of 5 until this round. You know, just unbelievable performance until now. While Arvind has been fighting his way up with 2.5 out of 5. These two are among the strongest Indian players in the world right now. Just recently, Arvind crossed the 2700 ELO barrier, a huge milestone, while Arjun broke past 2800, surprising none other, the world number two, Grandmaster Fabiano Caruana. I want to tell you a secret before we start. Now you can be among the first to join our exclusive chess community here on YouTube. By clicking the join button below the video, you can support the channel and become part of my members club. You will get loyalty badges, custom emojis, live chat access during uh, streams, quicker response to your questions and comments, and so much more to come as we expand the club with new perks and levels. What happened in this thrilling matchup? Stick around for a surprising twist. So let's start. D4, knight f6, bishop g5. What a surprise in the second move in this game. Unbelievable. D5, e3. Um, yeah, it's not a theory, right? You know, just playing chess. Not some like in interesting or important opening uh, for both sides. Of course, here maybe bishop takes f6. Also, uh, considerable uh, will be interesting for white. But g takes f6 probably because c5 with knight c6 and e5. Uh, you know, interesting position to play. For example, e3, c5. I remember some games like knight f3, knight c6, uh, and c3 or c4. I'm not sure about this position. Uh, I didn't play it, you know, like so. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, but overall, uh, Chitam Baram played the move e3. g6, and now knight d2. Here also, bishop takes f6 makes sense, because after e takes f6, there is no e pawn right now. And here, I don't know, for example, c4, or maybe also to play something around g3, bishop g2, uh, c3, knight d2, knight e2, knight f4, and to play against this pawn on uh, d5, and also, you know, the position is closed so two knights here uh, is you know is advantage in my opinion but of course it's it's very difficult to position to understand where this bishop will go i don't know bishop d6 or bishop g7 complicated so knight e2 was played and now bishop g7 knight gf3 castle and bishop e2 it seems that uh, white prepared uh, very strong I, I i really like uh, you know like the um, the idea of just go from the theory against Arjun Rigaisi, you know, these days Arjun is maybe one of the best theoretical players in the world. He's playing very fast with confidence and his theoretical knowledge is just unbelievable. So I really like uh, the decision by White. c5 and now c3, uh, b6 and just castle, bishop b7 and b4. And it's really nice to see that also in such position, Arjun has 1 hour and 30 minutes. He's playing with, you know, like unbelievable confidence. I, you know, I'm not sure that Magnus Carlsen is playing like this. You know, it's, it's really nice to see. Let's learn. B4. So white really want to take this pawn on C5 and also uh, consider to open this B file. So black is playing the move knight bd7. Just protect the pawn on C5 and that's it. B takes C5, B takes C5 and queen B3. Attacking this uh, bishop, also connecting between the rooks. Let's see what is going on here. Queen c8 and here a4. 
Also another very strong move, in my opinion, uh, think about a5, a6, maybe after c4 some queen a3 move, uh, and also, you know, to push the pawn, to push the a pawn. So h6 was played, also c4 probably was interesting solution, because after queen a3 just rook e8 with maybe some bishop f8 and e5 or e6, interesting uh, for black but should be fine uh, for both sides this bishop on e2 is a little bit weak because this pawn a strong pawn uh, but also this bishop on b7 not feeling so good so yeah interesting but h6 was played and now rook a b1 i really like this move you know the first uh, moves that comes to your mind probably will be bishop f4 or bishop h4 but rook a b1 you know like just let's see what black will play because rook b8 now it's a problem because bishop f4 right and attacking this rook on b8 and there is some problems here on b5 so rook a b1 very nice move after h takes g5 just queen takes b7 and this one looking very strong for white this pawn on g5 is weak and the pawns on d5 e7 maybe in the next future bishop a6 ideas i don't know looking very strong for, for white uh, so after rook a b1 he played a move bishop c6 and here bishop f4 g5 as you can see in 30 seconds it's unbelievable g5 and for me it, it was like very surprising move because g5 when you're playing the move g5 you should be you know like 100 percent sure that everything will be fine there but here i don't know g5 you're, you're not attacking me right my king on g1 is really safe and also the bishop here will be on g3 or e5 and that's it so yeah, bishop e5 uh, was played, but also bishop g3, I was not sure what, what is the problem here. I don't know, knight h5, queen a3, maybe rook b2, rook fb1, bishop b5, looking very strong for white. The b file is open, and also the pawn on c5 is weak, maybe knight d4 there. So yeah, uh, really, really nice uh, for white, I think. So bishop e5 also makes sense, uh, c4, queen a3, attacking the pawn on e5. Uh, uh, e7 of course sorry and now rook e8 mistake by chesscom let's understand why um the point here was the move g4 attacking the knight on f3 and while the knight is going i don't know to e1 for example knight takes e5 d takes e5 and knight e8 no knight d7 because bishop g4 right and this is a problem uh, but knight e8 and the point here that after queen takes e7 it's not so good because of queen c7 uh, just you know like telling white come on let's let's move the queen from the board and after queen takes e7 knight takes e7 bishop takes g4 just bishop takes e5 and two bishops with pawn on c3 weak and also the pawn on a4 so black will bring uh, up another pawn uh, and it will be very equal position like you know um in the in the pieces point of view but but generally speaking it's just amazing for black as black pieces are just very well developed so rook e8 was played and uh, just defend the pawn on e7 and also as you can see very very fast unbelievable h3 nice move just prophylactic uh, because of g4 now bishop f8 uh, yeah he's going for it another mistake by chesscom let's see queen a2 just going back maybe queen c2 uh, in the next future g4 and this was maybe one of the mistakes of this game and and why because i don't know what is the plan g4 you're just attacking my knight right i will take it knight takes and bishop g3 that's it why why should black will play such moves g4 it's very you know like um just weakness for you this king now on g8 is really weak there is no g pawn to defend it so i'm not sure what this knight is doing here on g4 but let's see because arjuna rigaisi is much better than me bishop g7 was played and now rook fe1 also a5 was interesting move just uh, to bring another uh, control about b6 square for, from this knight and also to provide uh, you know like to uh, some space for white right maybe now rook b4 and rook fb1 because if you're playing rook b4 here just a5 probably right so a5 is very important move in such position but rook fe1 also makes a lot of sense rook knight f8 and now knight h2 just telling black you know what i want to exchange this knight on g4 knight takes bishop takes and e5 and e5 i think overall it was a very big mistake i don't know why um you know why chesscom doesn't uh, mention it but e5 for me is like just 
losing move and why because after d takes e5 bishop takes e5 bishop takes rook takes knight of three rook is e6 now just knight d4 you can see this knight against this bishop it's like game over you can resign such position in in psychological terms and also uh, in positional terms speaking i think this position just losing absolutely the king is very bad the pawn on h6 is weak the f7 pawn weak d5 pawn weak bishop on c6 is just really big big pawn and this knight on d4 is not in a in a you know blue color it's just amazing should be white uh, i don't know maybe maybe it should be like uh, green color green color this knight is just unbelievable it's crazy it's like a queen a queen yeah so yeah i don't know this position should be just losing uh, for, for my opinion so he played with rook bd1 also makes a lot of sense because maybe this rook on b1 and uh, doesn't do some very important job in this file so maybe rook bd1 with the with the idea of playing rook d4 rook f4 maybe rook h4 you know good move probably bishop b7 and now knight d4 also here yeah rook d4 with rook f4 or rook h4 and after it knight d4 because as you can see uh, the, squ the square on d4 will be ours uh, right so yeah he played the move knight d4 rook g6 and now bishop h5 uh, attacking this rook rook g5 and queen e2 bringing the queen from a2 from this uh, passive uh, square to the e2 and the very active one uh, queen d7 now f4 is going for it uh, you know arjun regaisi has some problems here let's see what do you think arjun will secure here a draw or a win or maybe he will lose and go down from the 2800 rating let's see so rook g7 now queen c2 knight e6 and now knight f5 attacking the rook on g7 attacking the pawn on h6 and time travel for uh, white right not a five rook h7 and now e4 white is doing perfectly job here not a four e takes d5 Woo what about knight takes h5 you probably ask yourself but rook e7 and after queen c8 just queen f2 and white is just pressing for a win i don't know rook f1 d6 knight e6 so much threats here knight h6 unbelievable position white is clearly winning here uh, without a piece full piece amazing e takes d5 just brilliant move sacrificing this bishop on h5 but black played the move f6 and now bishop g4 with the threat of knight x h6 and taking the queen but black played the move queen d8 and now rook d4 attacking this knight on f4 knight d3 rook f1 as you can see white pieces are just amazing placed this knight this bishop this rook this rook and the queen will come very fast 95 bishop h3 king h8 d6 queen g8 and now rook df4 this position is looking for a win for white queen g5 just 97 rook g7 take the pawn on f6 and that's it the game is over rook a g8 takes takes and rook f8 93 takes takes d7 queen e3 check and queen f2 white won the game aravind chitambaram won against arjun arigaisi just incredible game wow 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 unbelievable this and aravind with three and a half out of six right and our arjun in with only four out of six so let's see maybe chitambaram will win the chennai chess master tournament who knows but this game was just unbelievable performance by white and we really need to congratulate uh, him about his just amazing game so you know it was really incredible for me to see such a high level of chess from these two brilliant players and you know i really want you to let me know in the comments what do you think about the game and who your favorite player in this tournament also if you're looking for a challenge yourself even more in chess i really highly recommend to checking outpost chess website you can sign up for free in the link in the description and explore some really cool features like online games 
where you can compete against other players in dual style matches for money. I have tried it and it was really seriously fun. Plus, you can join online tournaments with prizes and even browse a calendar of a real world tournaments you might want to enter. Definitely worth a look. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to grow our community and brings even more exciting chess videos. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next videos. See you soon. Bye bye.